Come on, if you know you are ready for enlargement, come on, shout and laugh. Are you ready for enlargement? Shout and laugh.
such a rare privilege like this to bring your word before your people. Thank you, Jesus. I am not in here tonight, but just a vessel. Speak through me. Let lives be transformed. Let the entrance of your word give light to the simple and let it bring understanding to all. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. I think if you're celebrating Jesus, you can do better. Somebody rise up on your feet and celebrate Jesus. We are youths. Listen to me. Our father said even at 81, he's still a youth. In fact, he said a young youth. He told us yesterday, he said, Moses started his ministry at 80. So he has just started. So if you are not older than him here this evening, I think you should jump on. You should jump up on your feet and give Jesus a shout. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want to appreciate our father for this real privilege. Thank you, daddy and mommy. Thank you for raising us in the way of the Lord. In your light, indeed, we have seen light. And I want to celebrate every of our leaders here, our intercontinental youth pastor, Pastor Belemina Obonge, and our national youth pastor, Pastor Shola Oweye. Please, can you help me celebrate God in their life? And every of our pastors uh, here tonight, I want to say thank you so much. Before me tonight is a topic that has been given to us, and the topic is enlarged. If you have been in this international youth convention thus far, you know that we have heard so much we have learned so much. Let me just come and contribute my own quota tonight. And I believe that after this message, your life will never remain the same. Can I hear somebody roar that amen like thunder? Hallelujah. I'm taking my text from the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 28 tonight. And the Bible says there, it said Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over the head, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. He said, God created man in his image. In the image, God created him male and female. Let's go to verse 28. He said, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air. Listen to me. If you are talking about dominion, the meaning of dominion is enlarge. I mean, I mean the meaning of enlarge, I mean, it means to make bigger. If you are talking about enlarge tonight, it means to make bigger, to make larger, to make more extensive. To increase in size, to broaden, to give more space or room. It also means to grow. We we'll see that enlargement is an idea of God. God insists that we enlarge. He commanded us to be fruitful, to replenish, so that we can enlarge, so that we can increase, so that we can exert dominion. Listen to me tonight. There is nobody here who is seated here tonight who is excused from enlargement. Tell somebody beside you, say you are not excused from enlargement. 
Oh my God, you are not saying it boldly. Say, you are not excused from enlargement. Everyone in Christ has been ordained to enlarge. Even Jesus, our Lord and Savior, you are enlarged. The Bible told us in the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. The Bible says, and the boy Jesus grew. He enlarged. Another meaning for grew in that place is he enlarged. He enlarged. Luke 2 52. He said, he enlarged in wisdom. He enlarged in stature. He enlarged in favor with God and with men. Why enlarge? Why did God command us to enlarge? Number one, it is the will of God for us to enlarge. It is the will of God for us to enlarge. Exodus chapter 32 verse 24, 34 verse 24. Exodus 34, 24. He said, for I will cast out the nations before thee and enlarge thy borders. That is the Lord speaking there. He said, I will. That means I, the Lord, will cast out the nations before you and enlarge their borders. It is the will of God for us to enlarge. Enlargement is God's idea. Shout it wherever you are. Say enlargement is God's idea. Another reason why we, are, we have to enlarge is because it is our heritage in Christ Jesus. A lion does not give birth to a dog. It is our heritage. Everything in Christ is obtainable for any man who is in Christ. It is our heritage. Another reason for enlargement is to exert dominion. That Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 28 explained to us. He said, replenish, be fruitful, do this. Why? Because God wants us to dominate. And let me help us understand. Without enlargement, dominion is not in view. Without enlargement, dominion is not in view. RCCG is a force to be reckoned with in the body of Christ today because we have significant enlargement. We have made significant enlargement. There is no gainsay about it. You will not mention first two churches in the world today and you will not mention, if you don't mention RCCG, then you have not mentioned any church. Because of the enlargement capacity. And let me help you, let me announce to you tonight. If you are a member of this church, by inheritance, you are a person of enlargement. If you are a member of this commission, by inheritance, you are a person of enlargement. And let me tell you the truth. There is nothing God instructed us to do that does not come with, without a price. If you are talking about, about enlargement tonight, there is a demand, there is a price, there is a cost to be paid. And the number one demand for enlargement is the demand for vision. Somebody say vision. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 11 to 12. Jeremiah 1, 11 to 12. The scripture says, he said, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? He said, and I see a rod of an almond tree. Then the Lord said unto me, thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. It is a man who sees enlargement that can partake of enlargement. Until your eyes are opened, you can never come into enlargement. It takes a man of vision to come into enlargement. Your sight ability to see is as crucial as unto what God is calling you to become. If you cannot see it, you can't become it. Abba Cook said, he said, I will wait and stand upon my tower to see what the Lord will say unto me. That means every word God speaks unto you, you must see it. It is not just enough for you to hear it. If you are still at the realm of hearing, you are not ready for enlightenment. The Bible told us 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. He said the one that has been from the beginning that we have heard, it does not end here. That we have seen, that we have looked upon, that our hands have handled. Your hand cannot handle what your eyes have not seen. 
you can only undo it because your eyes have seen it. Even Abraham in the scriptures was not excluded from sight. God promised him. He said, I'm going to make you father of all nations. I'm going to make you father of nations. But Abraham did not understand. Until God began to take him to see what he was saying. You will never, you will never grow beyond your sight. That's what he said. He said, you will never grow beyond your sight. Your sight determines your enlargement. What can you see? Daddy will always come here. He will say, he see a redemption camp. He see an auditorium that is as big as the size of Ibadan. Sometimes I ask myself, I say, what is he looking for again? Listen to me. As a matter of fact, pastors, my daddies, the truth is, daddy has made it possible for us not to have any bragging right in whatever you think you are doing. Ah! At 81, I still see an auditorium as big as Ibadan. And if you are 25, you are not seen beyond where you are. My brother, it is, there is a problem. Tell somebody beside you, say the Lord will open your eyes. The scripture says, he said the seeing eyes and the hearingness of the Lord. And let me tell you the truth, until the Lord open your eyes, you cannot see what he's saying. God can tell you, I will make you a mighty nation, but until your eyes are open. Father, open my eyes. You must see enlargement to experience enlargement. I don't see myself as a small person. My stature does not denote my status. I can be short, but the scripture says, he that is in me is greater than he who is in the world. So I have everything to become anything, God. The Holy Ghost in you is not little. Somebody say, I am not small. And until the Lord opens your eyes, you can't you can, you can move into action. God told Abraham, I will make you father of nations. Baba did not understand. He thought it was by giving birth to many children. Ah, he didn't know that what God was promising him was more than what his, what his, what his seed, what his physical seed can, ac can accomplish. God was telling him, I will make nations for you, even in a place your leg has not stepped. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is somebody here tonight. I decree over your life from tonight. God is making room for you, even in distant countries. God needed to help the vision of Abraham. He called him. He said, Baba, come, let me take you. Let me show you what I'm saying. Genesis chapter 15, verse 5. Genesis 15, 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to count them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Hi. God was telling me he did not understand, but God needed to help his vision. He said, This guy did not understand what I'm saying. He brought him. At night, he will take him to the sky. He said, look at the sky. At the morning, he will take him to the seashore. He said, look at the sound of the seashore. What can you see? What can you see? Can you see what God is saying this evening? Another demand for enlightenment is the demand of knowledge. No man grows beyond what he knows. You can never grow beyond what you know. You can never grow beyond what you know. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. Daniel 11 32. He said, and those that know their God shall be strong. There is first a knowing before you can be strong and do exploit. Those that know their God shall be strong and enlarge. Somebody shout knowledge. Proverbs 24 verse 5, Proverbs 24 verse 5, he said, a wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. For every season of enlightenment, you must know that there is a requisite knowledge for you to pay, for you to come into. You never grow beyond 
or enlarge beyond how much you are ready to learn and know hallelujah and what is the knowledge i'm talking about i'm talking about the knowledge of god i'm talking about the knowledge of god growing in the knowledge of god sitting down with the scriptures you can never see what god is saying about you until you sit in the scriptures listen to me youth facebook youtube instagram has taken and it has and it has eaten deep into the time which you use in studying the word of god today that is why we can't do what the fathers have done there are no distractions such as we have in our time you must be the one to be intentional about killing distraction before they kill you ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. did somebody understand what i'm saying this night that day must return those days must return that you sit in this you sit reading the scriptures four hours five hours you are there you bury yourself studying the word of god listen to me i used to tell people in our church i said let me tell you the truth you don't have you don't have any reason attending some parties you are attending every saturday you are in lagos or you are in a very busy city like potakot you have worked from monday to friday and on saturdays again you come and you still go and attend parties a party whereby you are only counted you don't count say what you don't can you carry something can God put something upon your life? Can you sit down with the word of God and understand what God is saying about your life and become broad in that when you enter into a space, they cannot but recognize you. Another demand before I leave us tonight is the demand of diligence and hard work. See as thou a man who is diligent in his business the scripture says he shall not sit with men, men but he shall stand before kings proverbs 22 verse 29 proverbs 22 29 the demand of hard work and diligence anybody that will be enlarged is a man who will get to work we can't be lazy around sometimes ago they called us the lazy youth and, and the truth is we are really lazy oh the old ones are not giving up we we are relaxing 81 year old man is still doing prayer work up and down you sleep eight hours in a day you say for your mental health oh god you are not ready for this thing we are talking about rise up and get to work i tell people in our church i say listen to me this place is not a place for some fear if you are going to become anything reasonable in God, then you must be ready for work, at work. Five hours prayer, we are there. Gather them public holidays, they know it's not, it's a private day for us to study the word of God. We sit down there. God has called you into the mountain of politics. You don't know anything about it. You have not studied. God called you to commerce and, and, and finance. You have not done anything. And you are saying, we want to go and take the mountain. Which mountain are you taking? The people you are going to fight with, these are people who have touched something with their head before they come. And you are coming with covenant, keeping God, five minute prayer. Listen to me. Wake up, youth. This is a wake up call for us tonight. Labor and touch what the Father has taught. Study the word of God. Give yourself. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says, study to show thyself approved a workman who never thought be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy 2 15. Listen to me. Somebody say, I will wake up. Before I round off, last one is the demand of stretching. Any man that will be enlarged is a man who will give himself to stretching. You must allow God to stretch you. And what does that mean? You must go beyond your comfort zone. Men who will do something serious with God and for God are men who will go beyond their comfort zone. Common sense did not build this place. Having, listen to me, having, having sound knowledge in architecture did not build this place. It's by stretching. God told our father, he said, leave this lecturing job. Come and follow me. <laughs> it takes a man who will allow God to stretch him. For God to feel. Listen to me. And God will never enlarge you beyond your capacity. And it is in the place of fetching that God built capacity into men. Enlargement does not fall on you like a rap man got fruit. No. You must allow God stretch you. 
Examples of men God taught in the Bible, Abraham. God told him he was a prince in his hometown. God told him, Live where you are. Live where you are. Joseph was so much pleased with his coat of many colors. God needed to orchestrate a way to strip him of the coat of many colors because his destiny is not the coat of many colors, his destiny is to become a prime minister. There are people here tonight. Let me announce to you that from tonight, that coat of many colors that has stopped you from enlarging, God is taking them off. You will never grow beyond your capacity. Somebody say, Father, enlarge me. Even Jesus was stressed. He was stressed. He had to go beyond his convenience. After he was baptized in the river Jordan, everybody thought he was going to take off like you did not do and go and start a ministry. The scripture says, and the spirit led him to the wilderness. God led him to go and stretch him 40 days and 40 nights. You don't want to be stretched and you want to be great. It's a lie. Nobody who became great by accident. Nobody who became great by wishful thinking. You must be stretched. And the last one is the demand of power. Somebody says power. Act 1038. Even Jesus needed to be endued with power before he could enlarge. The Bible says, Act 1038. He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Then he can begin to go around to do good. He can begin to expand. You can never go, you can never grow and enlarge beyond your ability and power. Rise up on your feet tonight. Somebody shout power. It takes power to enlarge. Enlargement does not answer to wishful thinking. Enlargement does not answer to motivational talk. Somebody shout power. And who are those that can carry power? People who can carry power are people who are given to prayers. If you cannot pray, you cannot carry power. The Bible says, He said, Tarry ye therefore in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power. Somebody shout power. You have stayed in that situation for too long because your life lacks power. Let me decree over somebody who can roar a man like thunder tonight. From tonight, receive power. Can you hold on to somebody beside you and say, Father, give us the power to enlarge. Come on, can you pray that prayer? I receive power to enlarge. I am tired of where I am. Tell me prayed. The Bible told us he prayed. And God, he said unto God, will you enlarge my coast? Will you give me power for enlargement? I can't be small. Thank you, Father, because you are God. Father, as we have cried tonight, enlarge us. We will never remain the same after tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.